So this is going to be a short video showing us how we install columns, steel columns, in a foundation. Right now we have a little piece of wood down there. It's a template and we have some J bolts. The bolts look like a J attached to them. We're going to pour concrete in this pad up to the bottom of that wood and then when it dries we're going to take that wood form out and put a steel plate in there with a column attached to it. So that will hold the column down, hold the column until we're ready to pour the rest of this pad. So the column will be supported and embedded in the concrete. We have one, two, three, four, five columns and one in the far back. I'll show you what it looks like. So now that our concrete is poured in the pad, we filled it up to the bottom of the two by four. We're gonna remove that wood template and put our steel column with a steel plate in the bottom in its place, tie those bolts down in the little J bolts that we have there, not so little, they're 14 inches long. Those J bolts will actually hold that vertical load of the column until we finish filling up the rest of this pad and the rest of these forms with concrete. And then our tubular steel column will be fully supported. That's how you get steel inside a foundation. And now this is what it looks like with a plate installed and our steel column all the way down there. Oops, we have my little helpers here. So we installed all these columns with the help of this crane, it's a lightweight crane. So now that we've had the plates were installed with the columns, we've installed some dry pack concrete under there so you can see the bags of this non-shrink high strength concrete that goes under the plate for a little extra support now we're done I'm gonna clean this up and fill it with concrete we're pouring the foundation we'll notice one guy has a headset and his remote control you can't see running the pump but guy right behind him with a motor on his back that's a concrete vibrator what he does is he sticks that vibrating piece of metal into the concrete. It makes the concrete settle down, so once we strip these forms off, it's nice and smooth. I'll show you what that's like. We're also straightening out the foundation bolts as we go, too. It's a messy job. Use the concrete fiber. It's going to make sure we have a nice finish, strong concrete, no voids.